So welcome back to Brain Muffin Reads the News. And this is the Washington Post article, which is pretty interesting. Um, we didn't need Russians to convince us that The Last Jedi was bad. Sony Bunch. I'm, I'm liking this already. If you've been on the internet, this week, you've probably seen some variation of the following headline. Star Wars Last Jedi was targeted by Russian trolls. Study says if you want it, want it to be more inflammatory, <laughs> you might have misleading, mislead, misleadingly headlined it thusly. A study says about half of the Last Jedi haters online were actually Russian trolls. Either way, the point was simple. The Russians are coming. The Russians are coming for your Star Wars movies. <laughs> Surprisingly, all the sensation was, in fact, nonsense. As my colleague Alex Griswold noted, the study found a minuscule number of tweets that might have been authored by Russians. Yeah, if you start digging into the study, it is amazing how garbage it is. Uh, their bear-like nature determines by the factors such as handles with numbers in them and the time of day tweets are sent. But don't take Griswold's word for it. The author of the study himself, perhaps taken by surprise, himself played down the results. I re- Although he tried to get a, a, a copy date with uh, Ruin Johnson, so that's pretty interesting. I really tried to be careful on how I frame this. There's no evidence Russian did anything. Uh, yeah, right. Now he's backtracking. Now uh, this is this article is a few days old, and I read an article the other day, uh, like yesterday or two days ago. So in between this the, by Morton Bay, he doesn't back down so much. More interesting, the study itself is that the way people. Um, Peter Duster explained why the last Jedi unperformed box office expectations by as much as $200 million seized on magnifying the findings. Last Jedi has become a flashpoint in the culture war. It kind of sort of has in the Star Wars. It, it's it's the belittling and beating up of the fans by uh, the director that's doing a lot of the damage, not the movie itself. Um, initially dropped... Uh, uh, out of the best-selling Blu-ray charts after just 13 weeks as opposed to The Force Awakens, which took 26 weeks to initially drop out. Uh, there's no way that lingering disappointment over The Last Jedi could have contributed to Solo's... Um, there's no way that lingering disappointment over The Last Jedi could have contributed to Solo's disastrous spot. What? No, there, there is. There is. Sure, there's a reason. Aside from the mediocrity that Last Jedi toy sales were in the tank, unexpectedly underperformed the year before. Yeah, and and uh, the, the Force Awakens toys are also... You can find... Sc- scores of rays uh, well in in the bargain i mean they can't even sell them at the bargain um outlets the bargain prices are 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 having problems nope it's the russians the russians of course are the oh i think they're being sarcastic and i completely missed the point the russians of course are the villains of the moment the russians naturally are to blame for donald trump winning the presidency which they didn't do it certainly uh couldn't have been the fact that the opposition party nominated the second least popular candidate of all time <laughs> Uh, let's just skip ahead. So I understand the appeal of the Russian theory. I think that there's a kernel of merit of it, at least with regard to the hacking and leaking of John Podesta's emails. Yeah, there, there's some of that. Yeah. But, uh, as Zainep, to, I, I'm going to try to say that Russian meddling and via socially is a symptom of what ails us, not the cause. That's true. It doesn't have, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to look at the ways in which Twitter can distract us from the, the trivial us with triviality and Facebook can confuse us with viral lies and decide it's worth spending a few bucks there to destabilize the world's greatest nation. Yep. It's, it's kind of like, you know, psyops and stuff more troubling than the Russian theory itself is spread of the Russian theory to explain away something as trivial as criticism of culture objects. It does. It couldn't be that the last Jedi alienated some longtime fans because director Ryan Johnson wanted to subvert expectations. Yeah, I know couldn't have been five, Mal, Mahler's five-hour uh, critique of the movie. It couldn't be that somebody didn't care for the sub-prequel CGI casino planet horse escape or the fact that the central conflict around around a low-speed chase in outer space or that it managed to do the same thing a Star Wars movie can never, ever do. Bore audiences. <laughs> the one thing I should say. Nope, it's the Russians. I like this. This is this is great. They listen to Star Wars and to our never-ending culture war is bad enough. But the need to create a scapegoat to suggest that all criticism is leveled in bad faith or manipulated by malicious forces to alleviate every disagreement with an international incident, oh, elevate every disagreement to an international incident, to bend to social media's existence that every little fight is the most important thing ever, or at least for the next five minutes, and those opposed uh, are, to us are wicked, is deeply disturbing. Because it suggests that we are rapidly becoming unwilling to even listen to one another. Anyone who disagrees with us, yes, and that is exactly what's happening on the left. Uh, there are lots of conversations by people who like The Last Jedi and like The Force Awakens and people who don't like it. Now, I know there's people 
you know, who don't like those movies, who don't want to listen to people who do. Um, but a note on the methodology. I've been using this week's top 10 as measured to audience. Okay, I don't really care. So let's look at some comments uh, very quickly here. I'm not going to look at all 157 of them. Uh, if and nope, I apparently have to sign up to the website. And it's also not aligned with where I'm capturing. So that sucks. Uh, so, no, nope, we're not going to look at that. I, did, I didn't know it was going to realign. I mean, everything here has got a, a border on left and right. Well, maybe it's because I my ad block's blocking it. But that, that's the best article yet I've read uh, on The Last Jedi. This is this is great. All right. Thanks for stopping by. And thanks for joining Brain Muffin in the Nerd Corner. Bye.